Welcome back to Shagai Grad School. Last week I took a break, but that's fitting because today is going to be all about taking a break and what that means and what that looks like in grad school. As always, re the recap videos will be put up for you. Go back and watch the latest videos. But since our last session, I released a book and so I'm very excited about It's All Inside of You. It is a compilation of my Shagai Jams, my daily inspirational jams. It is volume one, so there's going to be more coming soon. So please look at the first volume, support me, and I really appreciate everything that you all have been feeding into me, sending me love and support. And when you get your copy, send me your photos and reflections using hashtag ShargotGem. No, hashtag GotAGem. And so, yeah, I'm just so thankful for the overflow of love and support you've given me about this project. Also, since the last time, I'm a month away from my brunch, so I'm very excited about that. I'm getting new sponsors and vendors every day, so I'm very eager to get January 1st on the roll because I'm so anxious and I'm so excited about what this event will mean for women, what this will mean for me as this is a dream come true, and I'm just so excited. So, if you have an RSVP, you have until December 15th to do that because I'm very excited for the Tribe Tribute Brunch and my book release, so please go and support those and continue to support the videos that I put out on socials because I'm doing this for you, as always. Everything I do, I want to be a support to you, and I want to be an example, so please follow me on Instagram, follow my YouTube channel in order to see the Shagai Grad School series. But like I said, today is going to be all about taking a break. And so like I said, last week I took me a break because it was that time where I was feeling like it was overwhelming. Grad school had become a lot. I had assignments due back to back. I still have assignments due back to back because this is the end of the semester and everything is due right now. But I'm taking my break. And so what that means for me is last week was Thanksgiving and I took me a break. I slept. I ate. I just decompressed and I didn't worry about the school stuff that wasn't pertinent or the school stuff that wasn't due this week when I got back to school so just take your breather so take it when you're studying so when assignments come up and you just feel overwhelmed or when you just feel like you just can't do it just take a moment to pull back write it out in a journal if you have one I always encourage writing in a journal Talk to some people on the phone, people who you care about, people who are not going to judge you for just taking a breather. And so get it out. Just get it out of your system and go back to it because you have to go back to it. You can't just put it down and not pick it back up. So always just wusa, get you a little moment, and then go back to working hard, going back to accomplishing or going towards your goal because it's a long journey and it does not end until you get your degree. So please take your break. And that's every break, whether that's a set holiday break or a break in between studying or a break from your people. Sometimes we have to break away from people who just distract us or negative minds and negative ideals. Break away from that within your friend group, your family group, and even within yourself. You have to disassociate yourself from all those negative thoughts and focus on the positives because you are in grad school. You're making steps to get to grad school. Or just in life in general. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And any negative thought goes against that. So please just get rid of it. It doesn't fit in the realm of what you're trying to do. It doesn't fit in the realm of what kind of person you're about to become. So just disassociate yourself from that type of energy. That type of vibes. And don't let it fester into what you are doing. And what you're about to accomplish. Take a break from... Just life. I know sometimes we it's a lot going on and we just need to stay in our little bubble sometimes, stay in the house, read a book, watch TV, escape from whatever is going on because it's a lot. And so take your break in that sense too. So use your time wisely but pull away when you have to. And sometimes that might just be saying no when people want to go out. Or deciding not to do something that you've normally done because it's taxing on your body, it's taxing on your mind. Just say no and try again next week. So, taking your break is very important. 
as I conclude my last couple of weeks in the first semester of grad school, I'm finding it very important to take my breaks and to really just put myself first in this sense because, like I said, it is a lot and I just, I need them. And so you're going to need those breaks too when it comes down to breaking away from negative thoughts, negative people, and blocking up your time so that you can breathe and have moments to yourself, go do things for yourself, go work out, go spend time with your people. But really just take your break. And that's the moral of this whole video today is to take your break and to understand that you do need a break. You do need to breathe, you need to meditate, you do need to do whatever you need to do to separate yourself from whatever the task is at hand. So take your break and enjoy it. And that's the goal, is for you to really enjoy yourself in whatever that break is for you. Next week, I'm going to be wrapping up the first semester. That's crazy to say because it's over. Like, when I started this series, I was at week four, and I was feeling like, oh my God, what am I doing? But next week, I'm going to be done with the semester of, like, the first semester. So, that's crazy, crazy. But I thank God I'm here. I really thank God for pushing me through this and showing me that grad school is possible. And that's why I want to show you that grad school is possible because it really is. And it's possible. And if I could do one semester, I can do all of them. And the same goes for you. So I'm very excited to give you an overview and a recap of my first semester and give you a look into what my next semester will look like. But I can do it. And I thank God that I can do it. And so you can do it too. And so whether you're a current student, whether you're trying to get into schools right now, whether you're iffy on the fence or whatever, like whatever it is, you can do it. And I thank God that I can. And so my, my mission moving forward to continue to do is to show you that grad school is possible. So next week when I recap, it's going to be a celebration. We're going to have a party. It's going to be all of that because I did it. And this might sound small, but grad school is very different from undergrad. And so when I say I did it, I mean I'm happy right now because I am doing it. I'm almost at the finish line for this part of my degree program. And this is even a bigger deal because I'm in an accelerated program. So this means much more than just finishing my first semester of a regular two-year program. So I thank God for it, like I say. And... We're going to party next week. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.